Hey Threadheads, Darren here. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, these little beauties just arrived in my mailbox on Monday and I wanted to give you my opinion on this new line of tungsten bead from Firehole Outdoors. And they call them Firehole Stones and this is kind of goes along with their uh, Firehole Sticks rather than Hooks, so Sticks and Stones. It's a nice little playful take on it. Now before we get into it, I just want to let you know that I'm not sponsored by a fire hole and I've paid for these beads myself out of pocket. This way I can give you my honest opinion on the product. I'll let you know that I did get a bit of a discount on the set that I bought. I bought a set of 22 and uh, I did that by taking part in their pre-sale offer. So let's get into it. So for the colors, there are a metallic set of four and those are the sterling silver, the gold, copper, and black nickel. So those are kind of like your standard um, tungsten beads or, or brass bead colors that you would find in most stores. Now where the fire hole gets set apart is with their expanded matte coloration. And these are uh, colors, and I'll just go over the whole range. So we've got white, cream puff, Pink Floyd, True Blood, Screaming Red, Fire Orange, Pink Panther, Caddis Green, Chartreuse, Autumn, Royal Blue, Olive, Almond Joy, Slate Blue, Dark Olive, Mounds, and Black. So let me get into some of the positives that I found with these beads. So first off, I thought the color range was really great. The metallics are very bright and shiny. The fluorescent colors are really bright. And the UV, uh, the fluorescent ones, they glow really well under UV light. Now I did find that the Royal Blue, Pink Floyd, and Cream Puff, which are listed as fluorescent on the... Firehole Outdoors website, um, they don't glow quite as well as the other fluorescent ones, which are the Screaming Red, Fire Orange, Pink Panther, Caddis Green, and Chartreuse. Those ones just really pop under the UV light. So the beads are available in five sizes currently, from 2.0 millimeter up to 4.0 millimeter, and these increment by 0.5 millimeters for each size. And this covers hook sizes 8 to 22. It's a pretty good range. The matte finish on these is really durable. Um, I actually did take a bead and it took a lot of effort to scratch through that paint. So I'm pretty confident that these will last fairly well. And they're not going to chip easily uh, as you're fishing them, even in some rocky areas. The paint is applied inside the bead as well. And that also plays a part in making it harder to chip. So where you've got your um, your drill holes, the paint actually goes inside there. Now it does make the holes a little smaller and I did not test these with barbed hooks, just with uh, micro barbed hooks and the fire hole barbless hooks and there was no problem getting the beads on and off. So the weights are very consistent. I took basically um, a random set of different colors and uh, weighed them all on a fine scale that I have. And they all came out uh, weighing in between uh, 0 0.45 and 0 0.46 grams. So there wasn't really any deviation. Nothing fell outside that range in my sample size. Now the cost for beads is pretty reasonable. And I costed these from Jay Stockard as well as directly from Firehole. And there's a difference there from Jay Stockard. They list theirs as packages of 36 beads, whereas the ones that I found on Firehole are packages of 50. So per bead, you're looking at a price um, of 22 cents to 25 cents per bead. That's before taxes and shipping. And I priced out some comparable beads from major brands. And those came out to anywhere between around 25 cents up to about 36 cents a piece. Um, the packages for these are interlocking. So that's nice. You can uh, stack these together just so that they're 
easy to uh, pack away. You don't have to do them individually if you've got a large amount of the boxes. And they also interconnect with the fire hole sticks boxes as well. The packaging that they come in is pretty rigid and it's easy for stacking. And the beads shipped inside uh, small bags inside the plastic cases. So they weren't, uh, when they were being shipped, they weren't moving around a whole lot. So that kind of uh, helps prevent damage in shipment. And the cover includes a nice reference of, um, it's got both the name of the color and it's got a small colored dot on the top. So that kind of gives you a quick indication of what color you're looking at. In addition to that, with the sizes listed, it also gives a hook range on there for quick reference. I find that uh, really helpful. So the matte finish takes on paint pretty well. I did a few experiments where I, uh, of course, if you haven't already, you can take a look at the uh, Dirty Martini Nymph that I did where it takes on the paint really well. And uh, once it dries, it's, it's really on there. It really becomes a part of the bead. But you can also do a bit of speckling if you want on there to give it a bit more of a grungy, dirty look. So for the negatives that I found on these beads, it was really quite minimal. I found a tiny bit of defects on some of the beads where they, I think when they were being hung for painting, uh, there, it's just like a really small dot on the inside. And um, once you put the bead on the hook, it kind of disappears. Um, as well as some of the coatings on the beads were a little bit uneven. Uh, nothing that's going to prevent me from buying them, but just something to be aware of. The other thing that is a little bit limiting is the range of sizes. It only goes up to a 4.0 millimeter. So if you want beads for size 6 or larger hooks, like streamers, you're out of luck. But it does look like they're going to be bringing in a 4.5 millimeter in the future and we'll look forward to having that. So with all this taken into consideration, these beads are a good buy in my honest opinion. The quality of the beads and the finish is really great quality and the price for the beads is also quite reasonable and actually less expensive than some of the other comparable products I was looking at. So I'm actually excited to see how this uh, line evolves and I'm excited to see the range of brass beads they're going to be introducing down the line. So if you have anything else to add on the stones, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've had a chance to use them, let me know what your experience was like. If you want to get a hold of some of these beads, I'll leave a link in the description below. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel, and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vise. Cheers.